Mitre Red Light Mito Pro 300X. This is a new tabletop red light therapy panel from Mito Red Light. And to be honest, I really like it. New stand, new features, really nice touchscreen control panel, and a unique wavelength that no other panel has. Well, at least no other panel from a company outside of Mito Red Light. So, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this panel and be sure to hang around until the end of the video because not only will I provide my thoughts on whether you should buy this, but I'll also compare it to some of its key competitors. Is this the best tabletop panel for your needs? Let's find out. Okay, so the 300X, the Pro 300X, is built on the, I'm using Mito Red Light's words here, the successful Mito plus range now this is the x range so what they've done is they've added this new touchscreen which now has dimming ability which is great obviously it's touchscreen really nice to use uh it's got a smart mode in there meaning you can sync it with your phone and, and access some more features through your phone i'll share my thoughts on that later uh you can Disable the Bluetooth if you're worried about that sort of thing. It's also got an alarm clock in here. We have six wavelengths in here now. It has pulsing in the near infrared range, 10 hertz only. It measures 13 inches tall by 10 inches across, weighs about seven pounds. It comes with this built-in stand. Uh, it can be removed. It also has the hooks so you can hang it from the top. You also get a manual, two sets of goggles, um, a really good instruction power cords and a door hanging kit but yeah this stand is quite sleek it works really well it looks good uh but most importantly here is it's the same color it's the same metal finish as the panel itself if you've seen my older lighter red light tabletop reviews you would have seen that the stand was a completely different color it just just made it look tacky and it was one thing i really liked about the platinum Biomax 300 because the stand and the panel all matched up and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on how this compares to the Biomax later on as well so hang around for that now the unique wavelength is 590 nanometer amber light we've written an article on amber light and the benefits this is over at lighttherapyinsiders.com links are all down below uh, by the way I'm affiliated with Mito Red Light so that means down below you will also see a discount code and a link uh, if you do want to purchase this, you will save some money, but I do get a commission, uh, full disclosure. Now, the amber light has been shown to be beneficial for skin health and also nitric oxide release. So it is, and it's unique. It is, we haven't seen it in any other panels, but there is some promise there. Not a lot of energy is going to the amber. There's a small cluster in the middle here. Uh, I do like that it's a, a cluster rather than spread all around. So if you if you do want to target a particular area, you can do that. So what is this panel going to be good for? Well, you've got all the usual benefits of red light therapy, such as reduced inflammation, improved blood circulation, relaxation, improved energy output from a cellular point of view, and of course, recovery, skin benefits, beauty benefits. It's going to take all of these boxes. So let me explain a bit more about the wavelengths and the power output. Okay, so Mito Red Light state that there are six wavelengths. Uh, we have a little bit of energy going to 590, 630 red, 660 red, 810, 830, and 850 nanometer near infrared. You'll see they have their SBO spectral range, which is simply the full range of light that you're being exposed to. So uh, let's fire up the spectrometer and take a look. Okay, so here's just one snapshot. So we see the 590 amber down here. Then we have the 630, then we have the 660. So you can see this range here, 580 through to, what did they say, 700. I mean, yeah, most of the energy is coming from 670 to 590. Uh, and then in the near infrared, we're getting 808. So there's your 810, uh, 830, 850 is down here. So let me just take another reading, see if we can identify some of this 850 and in this snapshot here you see a better peak of 850 so you're getting all the wavelengths claimed 
Let's have a look at power output now. Okay, so the peak reading I got for this device at six inches was 60 milliwatts over centimeter squared. For the average across the face of the panel, I had a figure of 51.8 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This led to a total wattage output of 30 and a half watts. Let's have a look how these numbers compare in the Light Therapy Insider's shopping tool. So I just want to look at the tabletop panels here. I'll pull that up and we can sort by average radiance. So we have the Mito Pro 300X here, 51.8. So sixth place in terms of irradiance output and quite a good figure. I mean, we have that crazy high Biomax sitting at the top there at 70, but most of the panels in the tabletop class are around that 40 to 50. So adequate power there. If we look at total power output, which factors in size, we will see that it's actually in fourth place, which is good. Remember, this is only 60 LEDs. The ones above it are all larger panels, so it is really good power output for a 60 LED panel. And then if we look at value, remember lower is better, we will see it is in sixth place at $14. So not too bad from a power output point of view. Now I should mention the EMF levels were really low on this panel, and the sound output was 41 decibels at six inches. Have a listen here, it's not too bad at all. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, can you go down and hit the like button? And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Now, what about price? Well, this panel retails for 449 US dollars. Now there is a discount link down below and a code as well. That's going to save you a little bit and bring the price down to $427. Remember that comes with this included stand. Shipping to the US is free. However, if you want to ship this internationally, expect to pay anything from 50 to 60 dollars or more uh that doesn't include duties or taxes though so yeah just be prepared to get an extra bill when it hits your border what else do you need to know well there's a three-year warranty a 60-day returns period as for stands as i mentioned earlier you have this included tabletop stand it's one pivot point works really well uh you can also buy a floor stand 230 odd dollars to be honest i don't really see the point in that given the size of this you can easily move it around it does have a flat bottom so you could stand it on the floor without the floor stand all right so what do i like about the motor pro 300x first up you're buying from a really good company this company's been around in the red light therapy space for some time now um the owner scott is an amazing guy very passionate about red light therapy good customer care all of that good stuff be sure to head over to our Facebook group. Uh, you can see the customer care survey that I've done. Uh, there, there's 10,000 odd people in there. So you can check out that survey to see what other people who have purchased from this company have to say. You also get a really nice manual. It's good packaging. It's just a well put together product. I do like the new touchscreen. It works nice. It looks nice. It's it's good to see Mitre Red Light have finally jumped on board with the touchscreen here. I know some people say, oh, you don't need it. And that is true. You, you don't really need it. But it is nicer it's it's just nicer using a touchscreen especially now we're getting panels with five six wavelengths seven wavelengths even and you've got the dimming ability as well so if you do want to play around with dropping the intensity of light it is much easier to do it on a touchscreen control panel it does have the 10 hertz pulsing in near infrared and you can access more functions through the app and track your usage uh, i've talked about that in previous minor red light reviews personally i think it is a little bit of a gimmick i don't see that much uh real world benefit from that app and being able to track the functions and all the surveys but still you may enjoy it there is also the inbuilt alarm clock mode so you can set an alarm clock with this panel and it will turn on maybe you want to do that so it comes on in the morning um i don't it's just not something that I would use, but you might like it. Of course, we have that 590 nanometer light with some promising benefits there. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but there's four LEDs with 590. There's one, two, three, four. So they are grouped in the middle there. So if you were wanting those benefits on your face, then you just know you need to focus the face on the middle of the panel, which is kind of cool, better than just being spread all over the panel. As we saw earlier though, there isn't a lot of energy going to the 590 nanometer light. And of course you're only getting a couple of LEDs anyway. You're still getting a good blend of light with the other wavelengths, 630, 660, 810. It's good to see the 810 in there, especially a decent amount of energy going to 810. I like that, especially for deeper tissue, joint health, recovery, sort of thing. So 
Good to see. Dual chip LEDs and a nice blend of light. As I was moving around, there weren't massive peaks and troughs. Uh, the average was about 51 milliwatts over centimeter squared, whereas the peak was 60. So those numbers are quite close, which means you are getting a nice blend of light from the surface at six inches. From a power point of view, as we saw earlier, this isn't record breaking for a tabletop panel, but it is more than adequate, especially when we are talking about facial or skin health. Uh, a lot of people buying these tabletop panels are buying them for that reason. You know, they can sit them on their desk or on their makeup counter and do five, 10 minutes for the collagen and wrinkles and uh, beauty benefits that red light therapy offers. So this power for that goal is is perfect you know five ten minute sessions or you're going to need if you are looking at treating i don't know an arthritic knee or um, post-surgery hip operation this may not be the best device for you you probably want something with a little bit more power but still it is going to take the boxes for most people i really do like this stand it's it's slim it's sleek it's a good color uh it, easy to use and it even comes installed on the panel so you don't have to muck around with screwdrivers or anything like that uh to compare this stand with the previous motor red light stands it's a huge improvement the other stand you could compare it to is the biomax 300 stand now the biomax 300 stand you have to buy extra cost extra uh it looks just as nice maybe even nicer but that panel's a lot larger uh and of course like i said you have to spend extra money on it so yeah i do like the stand and actually speaking of price i think the whole package is well priced um so yeah overall it has a lot of pros all right so what about downsides with this panel first up even though it's well priced and you have the free usa shipping shipping outside of the states is a little bit expensive and you are going to pay duties now this is a downside because there's a lot of companies now offering free worldwide shipping you have Rio therapy lights doing free shipping uh, block blue light they do nine to fourteen dollar shipping and they cover duties and taxes so it's just something to keep in mind when you are shopping around uh, a really good tool is that shopping tool over at light therapy inside is where you can see all the different specs of the panel the price point and how much international shipping is going to be because remember this may be great for an american user but if you're in australia there may be better options especially when you're factoring in price what else uh it doesn't have a remote though it does have a uh app and you do have the nice control panel and maybe you don't really need a remote with a smaller panel so maybe i'm being nitpicky here now one thing i don't really like with this panel is how long it takes to turn off so let's say I'm, I'm, i've done with the session i press pause takes a few seconds actually it's not that bad some panels take a lot longer i, I personally i'd rather hit pause or stop and it stops um Okay, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm really uh, desperate for downsides, aren't I? I suppose those looking for a heap of power for really good penetration may be a bit disappointed in the 50-odd milliwatts that this is putting out. Again, though, you can go closer to the panel. Like if I just saw a shoulder, I could bring it right up against the panel. Um, but if you want a lot of power for a big coverage area, then typically you're going to have to look at uh, a larger panel or... A more powerful panel again that shopping tool does a great job with that or a dedicated device like an iron forge chroma and then one other minor thing it comes with a door hanging hook so you can screw in some mounts on the top clip it onto a hook that goes on the back of your door or any other hook but it doesn't come with an adjustable chain or pulley so the height is kind of fixed um you could get your own chain but in the past typically we saw an adjustable hanging kit so you could change the height but that's not the case with this Mino pro 300x all right so who's it good for well to be honest if you're looking for a well-priced panel if you want something that has a really nice stand and it's going to work really well as a tabletop panel then yeah it's going to be great especially if you live in america if you're looking for a beauty panel and you want to get the benefits of red light therapy for your face then yeah i think i think this is a really good option it has the 590 nanometer light which again is beneficial for skin but it it doesn't have the blue that we've seen in the biomax panels though the blue blue is interesting i mean yes there are a lot of benefits with the blue light there's articles over at light therapy insiders uh, it's really good for acne control but if you don't have acne so like i have no issues with acne right i'm, I'm one of the lucky ones i guess 
So I don't really need to, well, I'm not worried about blue light for acne. If I were, I could use, uh, for instance, I have a block blue light torch that I'm reviewing at the moment and it has blue light in it. So I could just zap the pimples with that for a few minutes. So I think, I think if you just want something that's, that looks good, easy to use, good power, good price, then yeah, I mean, it, it is a good option. But before you rush out and buy it, I always do a comparison at the end. So first up, let's compare it to the Platinum LED Biomax 300. Now, as we saw before, the 300 is a larger panel. It has more LEDs. It's also putting out more energy, not only because it's a bigger panel, but the LEDs are more powerful as well. That panel has seven wavelengths, including the blue light, but most of the energy is still going to your 660 and 850 nanometer light whereas the Mitre Red Light has a more balanced spread across all the wavelengths. And the Biomax is a lot more expensive. It's about $650, and then you have to pay extra for the stand. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there'll be some people that would prefer that. I think a lot of people are going to prefer this over the Biomax. I did uh, a, a big comparison looking at all the tabletop panels. I think it was in 2023. Um, the Biomax was one of the standout panels in that series. But I, I wish we had this, or maybe I have to do another uh, comparison series with, with the new Mitre Red Light panels and a few other new panels that are on the market because I think this would do really well. Another panel you can look at is the Royo Therapy Refine 180. Now this also has 60 LEDs. I should mention these are dual chip LEDs as well. It has five wavelengths, so similar to this, but without the amber light. They also offer free shipping. Now, their panel is a lot more square and compact, so it's it's smaller, right? The LEDs are compressed a lot closer together. It also has a touchscreen and some smart modes in there, which is kind of cool. Check out my reviews of their panels for more on that. It comes with a stand, but the stand is like the older style Mitre Red Light panel stands. I, it's not as nice. Still though, if price is your main concern, then it may be a much better option especially from a value point of view and because they do free shipping, uh, free international shipping. And then finally, we have the Huga Health Ultra 360. Now this is $400 before discount, so it's cheaper than this panel. It's got 72 LEDs and these are quad chip LEDs. So it's more LEDs than the Mitre Pro. It's only got four wavelengths, but it does have pulsing and it does have a built-in stand and dimming. The downsides are the stand is not as nice. There's no touch screen or application. And of course you don't have the yellow amber light that we have in the Mitre Pro. Hey, but if you're undecided, then I'm gonna be reviewing a lot more of these tabletop panels soon. So be sure to hang around for them. Um, otherwise, leave a question below or check out this video here. It's another video of mine that I think you will like. I'll see you in that one shortly.